Bora, Zu. Hi guys, welcome to today's video, the final video on how to play Stay Young by Oasis. So this is going to be the long outro solo. Really cool outro solo. Noel Gallagher does a lot of these outro solos. Um, I've done a few, I'm going to do more coming up in the future. This is a really, really good one. So, like the rest of the song, we're in the key of D, mostly in D major pentatonic. Okay, really, really, really cool song. So let's just crack on and get going. <laughs> Okay, wow, that is one of my longest covers I've ever done. Uh, yeah, hopefully it sounds okay. Really, really tough one to uh, to get. There's a couple of bits here that I found quite hard to, to get exactly right. Obviously, I will mention those as we go. So it's going to be a relatively long video, so let's just get cracking. So we're coming out of the chorus. So we come, basically there's a seven hammer onto nine, really, which is the end of the corner, chorus, sorry. Then a seven on the G. Okay. Then we come into the actual outro solo with a bend on nine, on the G, then another one, then nine. Okay. Then next bit, nine on the G, then on the B string, seven hammer on to nine, and then seven on the B. Okay. Then seven on the G, then ten on the B, eight, B, eight on the B, seven on the B, back to seven on the G. So it's this bit. So end of the kind of final chorus then. Like that. And then he, as he's singing just what we are, we've got a hammer on from seven to nine on the D, seven on the G, Nine on that G, bend up, then seven on the G. And that's just as I say, as he's singing just what we are. Then the next lick, very, very similar to what we've done, it comes in basically on the third beat of the next bar. We've got a seven hammer on to eight, then seven, all on the B string, then ten on the B, then eight on the B, then seven on the B. Then seven on the G. 10 to eight on the B. Seven on the G. Then eight on the B. So already, we're only a few bars in, there's loads of notes. So this is, this is gonna be quite a long video as I said. I, I'm gonna try and not go too quickly but obviously it's going to be relatively quick, so it's not too long a video, okay? So this is, so we've done the first little bit, this is the next little bit. Like that, okay? Now this next bit, uh, again, he's singing because we know just what we are. It's a kind of a two bar sequence. This is the hardest bit, <coughs> sorry. This is the hardest bit I found to tab throughout the whole thing, okay? So I'm gonna be as accurate as I can, but I have to admit I did find this very, very difficult um, to hear, basically, that's the only reason. Seven on the G, then 10 to eight on that B, 
That bit's easier to hear than this next bit. I'm going to play eight on the B and seven on the G. And I'm going to play that combo four times. Then I'm going to play seven on the B, seven on the G. Then I'm going to play seven on the G again. And then two nines on the G. So we end up with this. It's hard to fit all those notes in. Um, but that's what it sounds like is happening. What is very easy to do on that first bit is to go 7, 10, 8 and then pause because it sounds good. And then you, you, what you have to do then is you have to miss out that first 8, 7 and then go straight into the second one. So you end up only doing 3 in total. There should be four, but it's very easy to do that. And, and uh, you know, when I've been doing these playthroughs, obviously I was just trying to play through it. I did that a number of times, okay? So hopefully... Um, that makes sense. It, it's, it's so hard to hear, it probably doesn't matter, but I want it to be as accurate as possible, basically. So it should be... Like that. That's what it should be, and that's what we're aiming for. Really tricky section to get timing right into here and everything like that. The next bit, much easier to hear. So this is a, a nice kind of uh, section where we're doing this really cool idea where he's just doing chromatic notes. So, seven, eight, nine, so effectively this feels like a blues scale, B blues. And then he's gonna play seven, eight, nine on the string below. It doesn't feel like blues, it's just chromatic, you know? So seven, eight, nine on the A, seven, eight, nine on the, uh, on the D. Hold that, okay, so it's actually a whole beat. And then we're gonna play seven on the G. Then it sounds like to me a little seventh fret harmonic. Natural harmonic. Yeah, like that. And the second time, he does everything the same. Seven. But then it's an open string. So it could be that he's going for the harmonic and slightly misses it. Or it could be that he's doing it deliberately. Or it could be that earlier he was going for open and hit the harmonic slightly. I don't know which, but it's an interesting little thing. And then on the third one, the first bit's exactly the same. Seven, eight, nine on the A, seven, eight, nine on the D, and then seven on the G. Then we're gonna play nine on the G, then bend that nine, then nine again, then three lots of seven, and then two more sevens, like that. So we end up with this lick. Straight back into 7, 8, 9 on the A, 7, 8, 9 on the D, 7 on the G, then that harmonic again. Okay? We've got one more of that uh, lick to go. So 7, 8, 9 on the A, 7, 8, 9 on the D, 7 on the G, then we're going to play 9 again on the G, up, down, bend this time, and then two sevens. So that's a really, really cool little uh, section where we play that same lick very similarly four times. Okay, so let me just play it through a bit slower for you guys. some semblance of sense. So now, it's, we've actually got through a huge chunk of this solo already. It's not too complicated. It's got a lot of elements that we've done before. I do love that chromatic thing. We've done it before. If you've learned any of my other Oasis videos, we have seen that idea before. So we're gonna have more classic Noel Gallagher ideas coming up. So this first bit, we're gonna get a bit more vocals because we know just what we are is the line. Um, and this is what we're gonna play. Seven to nine on the G. <laughs> Bend that nine on the G. Probably only a half tone bend, which is a one fret bend. Then I'm gonna grab seven on the E. Then nine again on the G. Then seven on the G. Then nine on the G. Seven on the E, and then two more nines on the G. So we end up with this lick.
Again, quite hard to fit all those notes in, but it's really, really cool. Really, really cool that one. Uh, so that's the lick, as I say, as he's singing, because we know just what we are. If you want to know where we're on the song, I've actually made a note here, four minutes, 12 into the song, around there. This next bit is going to be uh, all about unison bends. Okay, so again, another classic thing for Noel Gallagher to do. Seventh fret on the B, ninth fret on the G. So we're still in B minor pentatonic position one, as we have been for this whole solo, and most of the solos in this song. Um, so we're gonna do four bends unison-wise. Now, just so you know a little bit about unison bends, the idea is, the note at the bottom you keep stationary and the note on the string above you bend. So you don't bend them both, you just bend one. The idea is, is you take this note, upper tone so it gets to be this note, and that should be the same as this note. So that's the, that's the concept of what a unison bend is all about. So in this case, F sharp note, E note, we bend the E note so it's an F sharp note. That's what we're aiming to do. When we're doing them quickly, it doesn't always work like that, but that's our aim. So as I say, four of those on the beat. One, two, three, four. Then on the start of the next bar, just as you're starting to sing, know just what you are, I'm gonna do a bend up and down on that G string. Then I'm gonna hit seventh fret on the G three times. So we got this as our lick. One, two, three, four. Okay. Then to start the next lick, I'm going to do a pickup. I'm going to play seven on the G and then nine on the G. And then the rest of the lick is exactly the same. Okay, then I'm going to do the same pickup again. Seven on the G and then nine on the G. This time I'm going to do a unison bend, but I'm going to pick them separately. I'm going to pick the G string, then the B string. So it's the same lick effectively, but I'm picking it slightly differently, okay? And then I'll do the same thing again, separate picks. And that's basically the section. It's an eight bar section with almost just the same lick just played over and over, basically. It's played four times. So let me just play through it slowly. So first time unison bends, second time unison bends, and then third and fourth times, we do unison bends, but we separate the picks, so. up at the end as well as though I'm going to go into the same lick again but now it's a different lick if you wanted to know on the YouTube track this is four minutes 37 into the track we're now into right into the outro so we've actually done the main bulk of that outro solo so hopefully I haven't gone through it too quick I really worry that I've sped up too much because I've been trying to go a bit quicker but hopefully it's not too quick and hopefully it all makes sense like a lot of his solos there's a lot of repetition there's a lot of similar ideas in it really really cool sound though so to start this final, final, final bit, seven and seven on the B and the G. Then I'm gonna hammer on on that G string, seven to nine, then seven on the B, then seven on the G, then 10 on the B. So we end up with, if I do the pickup from the previous bar, And then seven on the G, seven to nine on the G, seven on the B, seven on the G, 10 on the B. So it's, the, it's effectively the same lick twice. It's just slightly different because we have that unison bit right at the start. So if I do that slower, sorry. ring out as well. Then, next lick very similar, 7 on the G, 7 to 9 on the G, 7 on the B, again letting it all ring out, 7 on the G, then on the B I'm going to play 10, 8, 7, then 8, 7, then 7 on the G. So that lick now is... And 
and right there at the end is when we're starting to fade out now. So we're now really into the fade out, but I'm going to keep going and do the, the next little bit anyway, but it is effectively a fade out. Seven on the G again, we're actually going to do the same lick as we did at the start of this section. Um, so seven on the G, except for no double stop obviously, seven on the G, and then a hammer. And oh, seven to nine, and then seven on the B, seven on the G, ten on that B. Then seven on the G, seven to nine, seven on the B, seven on the G, ten on that B. Yeah, just the same lick twice. And then we're going to do the lick we just talked about. Seven on the G, seven to nine on the G, seven on the B, seven on the G, then ten, eight, seven on the B. Then eight on the B, and then this is the final, 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 final bit. I'm going to go seven on the G to ten on the B to seven on the G to eight on the B to seven to seven. So seven on the G, seven on the B. Then back to seven to eight. Then seven to ten. effectively what he's doing as the song completely fades out to nothing and the track ends. So those are all the bits. Realistically, we've got the first bit, which is very similar to what we do in the solo. Then we've got the transition bit, which is really hard to hear where we're going. Then we've got the chromatic bit. And then after that, we've got the unison bend bit. Then we've got that really cool outro bit. Yeah, and so those are the bits of the solo. So really cool song, thumbs up to this solo. Outro solos are a nightmare for me to transcribe. If I can, because my notes on this are a bit scruffy I will try and actually write them down neatly and I'll try and put it up on my Instagram so you guys can see the tab from that so I well there you go thanks for watching this has been a long series of videos on stay young hopefully you've enjoyed them hopefully you've uh, enjoyed learning this song and we've got to the end of it what next who knows probably more oasis for me but uh, yes, uh, thanks for watching. Well done for getting to the end if you got through them all. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching. As usual, I'll do the usual spiel at the end. If you could um, like the video, that really, really helps. Also, um, please comment on the video and please subscribe to the channel. All those things are super useful. I really appreciate when you guys do it. And I'll see you guys again soon for some more Oasis stuff. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.